match kickoff to, to final whistle, uh, but I plan to. What I've seen is, is great. It's all right. It's good. And you know what? I think that this time, too, the stations are into it more. Pat McAfee, what a great pickup. Yep. He's awesome on there. I mean, he's an entertaining guy anyways, but getting him to buy all in on it, very cool. Battlehawks adding more beer vendors for Saturday's game, considering opening the upper bowl. There were 29,000 tickets. You couldn't get one in the lower bowl, and that's all they sold. But now they're talking about going up top as the Battlehawks have the uh, most fans in an eight-state area of all XFL teams. Right. Battlehawks are the shit, yo. They're pre- they're really it they're pretty good too. Uh Jordan Tiamu, he's pretty good. That running game is something else. I, I like how they do that. They they don't they, they'll run it, pick up five six, five six, and next thing you know, you got a little play action going on. It opens up the pass, you know. Hey, three yards and a cloud of dust have won plenty of Super Bowls. So there's a couple of dudes I work with, uh David Dreads and Tracy. Both of them, they're off the charts. Bananas, black uh, battlehawk people. Oh yeah, the tailgate. The tailgate was huge. Oliver Luck was in town, the commissioner of the XFL, smiling from ear to ear because St. Louis is seriously all in on this. Like it's it's, it's a, a thing. It's a, it's a thing. Hop on board. The bandwagon is currently open, and you can jump on at any time. Uniforms look good. They're tight. It's, nice little blue and gray going on. When I first heard the name, I was like, eh. Battlehawks. Eh. And then I started looking around the league, and I'm like, they kind of got maybe the coolest logo and coolest jerseys uh, out of anybody. Seattle's not bad. It's kind of cartoonish, though. Yeah. And um, what was the other one I saw? The the real yellow ones. That's oh, the, the Vipers. It, the Vipers, yeah. Oh, my. Yeah, the Vipers, mom. Yeah, the Tampa Bay Vipers, right? You can't miss them. No. I wouldn't knock over a 7-Eleven in a Vipers jersey. Anybody who buys a Vipers jersey, the, the good news is you also bought a nightlight. <laughs> so you can you can read by those jerseys at night, like, you know, turn out the light. Just close the dresser drawer. So. Caw-caw! So what do you know? It's the Big Tom West Show. Breaking news. Belleville's got the coronavirus. Oh, jeez. Fox 2 News has learned that Belleville Memorial Hospital has referred a patient to the Illinois Department of Public Health for possible risk of having coronavirus. After an inquiry from Fox 2 News last night, BJC spokesperson for Belleville Memorial Hospital released the following. Uh, Following guidance from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control, uh, have processes in place to screen patients in risk uh, of coronavirus or COVID-19. Based on medical symptoms and travel history, patients may be referred to further laboratory testing. Belleville Memorial Hospital has referred one patient to the blah, blah, blah and is expecting results in the next few days. Of all the places uh, coronavirus can end up in St. Louis, greater metro, of course it's Belleville. I would have picked Granite City, but Belleville... (laughs) Well... Belleville, it's in it's in the area over there. Oh, it's over in Bell Virus. Oh, Bell Virus. Good God. Are you afraid of the coronavirus? Presently, no. I will tell you that I will not go back to Belleville for a couple, two, three months, days, years. When was the last time you were in Belleville? Well, not Belleville, but Fairview Heights right next to Belleville. We went to Lotta Wada. Oh, that's right. You went to that's a yeah. That's a plate of food. That is, it should be called Lottawata Food, that place. It is the first restaurant I've gone to in years where I've walked in and gone, I feel thin. I feel very, I feel fit. Some big folks over there at the Lottawata. But the, the Lottawata, there's a lot of everything. This there's, ain't no ch- chain restaurant. That's no, what the commercial says. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's not. There's a lot of everything at that place. Uh, it, it, people. Uh, sizes, everything. The food, oh, it's delicious, but it's excessive. It's excessive. So it's like someone injected steroids into a beef sandwich. 
Yes, it's like your Philly cheesesteak ate another Philly cheesesteak. It's double. It's, Any, anywhere else you're going to go, huh? Yeah, oh, my God. And then on – so they have different menus. They have the Lottawatta Creek menu, and the sandwiches are what you would consider excessive. It's It's a big freaking sandwich, and they give you more fries – than I've ever seen in my entire life. Like literally a plate full of fries. And then they have the juiced up Lottawatta style like sandwiches. So they take that cheese steak and they stuff another cheese steak inside it. And then they so it's stick like a, French fries inside the cheese steak. So the cheese the cheese steak is expecting. Yes. Exactly. You could literally take out one cheese steak and eat that cheesesteak from the the cheesesteak. I've seen things on the uh, the pork chop bite things. That's what everyone likes to tout. The pork chop bites. We so we went there for my son's nineteenth uh, birthday. He goes to school out in SIUE, and we're like, let's go to a fun place. Oh, a lot of Wild Creek looks good. Let's you know, it's kind of you know fun thing to do out there. So we we go there. It's Two o'clock in the afternoon, three o'clock in the afternoon on a Saturday. Packed. 45 minute wait. And you're, you're every, there, what else are you gonna do? Everybody, everybody's walking out with styrofoam Sex. containers full of food. Everybody. You're like, wow, this is this is a lot. So hey, we're looking up things to eat there, and my wife goes, Everybody's talking about pork chop bites. And my reaction was exactly what you, pork chop bites. Come on. Like, what do you mean? She said, crispy pork chop bites with delicious dipping sauce. Got to have the Dunkin' sauce. And she's got pictures of it. It kind of looks like chicken nuggets, but it's pork chops. And is, it a tender, like, is, is it a thin little pork chop? Big it would little, be like a chicken tender, but a pork chop. It's a pork chop in there. Yeah. Little, little pork chop things. And they give you like a country gravy dipping sauce. Oh. And then they give you like a... Like a hot honey mustard All right. type buffalo sauce to dip it in. I'm sure they have ranch if you want. I'm sure they have. You can dip it in whatever you want. You could you could get a a lot of water Sunday and dip it in there if you really really want to. Um, but we're like, well, I guess we gotta get the pork chop bites. We gotta try them. Uh, we'd be a bunch of assholes if we didn't order the pork exactly. chop bites. Exactly. So we we got the pork chop bites. Delicious. Excessive. But delicious. You'd order again if you went back in. I think so. Yeah. I think so. Or I'd try another one. They like even their appetizers, like I said, delicious. Excessive. Excessive. Stuffed mushrooms. Looks like the size like if you cut a volleyball in half and stuffed it, that's what their stuffed mushrooms look like. Like that's that's a lot. And and no matter what you order, they bring you out bread. A lot of water bread. So normally you go to a restaurant and they bring you out like, you know, a loaf of bread for the table. No. You get a loaf of bread. You get a loaf of bread. Everyone gets their own loaf? Everybody gets their own loaf of bread with regular butter and cinnamon dipping butter. Oh, my God. And I was was like, this is really a lot of of food. A lot, like very, very (laughs) excessive. What are the prices like? Not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, really, for especially for it's, it, you're practically grocery shopping for the week. You're gonna take home snack that night, maybe breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the next couple days. You got fries to feed a small village. Un freaking believable. And for people who say, "Yeah, but the fries are cold." If the fries are done right, you could take those fries, heat up a, a skillet pan, throw some olive oil in there, toss them around, fry them up, and, and be good. You can stick them in the oven. They're like the 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 real like home, like somebody took a potato and yeah. they're like that. So then they double fry them there. So when you have a fry, leftover fries like that, this should be a cooking segment on the show, Tom. Yeah. What to do with the leftover bullshit you bring home? Uh, but we just took and put them on a, on a sheet pan in the oven. There you go. Heat them up. Crisp as could be. Delicious. Delicious. I th- we had we had fries for like f- my daughter was in heaven, like you know teenage girls love French fries. She ate 
French fries like four days for an afternoon snack on the, after she came home from school. I like to take my leftover fries, uh, get them nice and hot and crisp, uh, and then make my own personal slinger. Dump some Hormel chili, a couple eggs, fry up a little hamburger patty, onions, hot sauce, and enjoy. Fried egg on top? A couple of them. Look at that. That sounds delicious. So if you go to Lot of Water Creek, you'll bring back a lot of water fries. Yeah. Excessive. <laughs> it's, it's delicious, but excessive. I'd stay away from the coronavirus dunking sauce, though. You'd never want to be dunking anything in that. Yeah, especially being that close to Belleville. It's in Fairview Heights. That, that, that's just a hop and a skip, you know. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a, what, a three iron away? Mm-hmm. So you can get there. And that coronavirus lives on things for up to six days. So there's a lot of water hands, a lot of water people, a lot of water virus. Thursdays are my favorite day all time, Shani. Just saying. Thank you. I, I'm enjoying these Thursdays as well. Thanks for all the feedback. There is a Big Tom West Show Facebook page. Go there and like it. Uh, you can email me at bigtomwestshow at gmail.com. And we'll post these on all the particular uh, podcastable, downloadable places that you go, right? And then remember to like, share, subscribe. Video coming soon. I don't want it, but sure, if you want to see this. Humankind, be both. Big hugs. This has been the Big Tom West Show. Like, share, and subscribe. Because that's what you're supposed to do. The Big Tom West Show, produced by thepodcastproshop.com and brought to you by Sneller Creative Promotions. Go to snellercreativepromotions.com.